Hey anyway, so today I'm going to do a review on the Logitech Slim Combo keyboard for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Um, I have done a previous video on the Create, the Logitech Create case. Um, I took that back because of the damage that I was seeing and hearing about that it was doing to the iPad screen. So I got this at Best Buy. Um, it was $150. I did look online to see if I could get it for a cheaper price somewhere else, like Amazon or something, and I did not see. I didn't even see them really selling this on Amazon. I saw them selling the Crate. Um, and there's a couple other brands. I don't like the Apple one, and um, I've heard some hinge problems for there was like another one. Okay. So it comes in two pieces. You have your keyboard piece, and you have your case, like protector case. Um, so I'll pop it in, I'll show you. Let's see, I like it this way. It's very easy to go in, pop it right in. Um, and then it has the smart connector. So what that means with the smart connector is, is that you don't have to charge this case. Uh, it works off of your iPad's battery, but it doesn't take much off the battery. And what you do is you have the connector right here, it's magnet, and you just kind of pop it in. This has a stand, this kickstand, you can put this at any degree that you like to have the case um, go back. On the other, on the Create, you could only put it in like one position, so if you didn't like that position. The other thing is you can put this down like this, so you don't have as much space right here. And it has the Apple Pencil. So if you have an iPad Pro, most likely you have an Apple Pencil and there's usually no place to put it, so you can stick it right in here. And it fits very snug, so it's not going to move. Like if I bring this, it's not moving out. Okay, so overall, it's a great keyboard. Um, it is kind of heavy. So when you put it up, it does have a magnet here so that it stays closed. I'm not a huge fan. I kind of almost like the other case better, but I don't feel as protected with this case. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, and like I said, it has a magnet. It will stay closed. Let's put it down like that. I'm going to show you how this works, and I'm going to um, turn the lights off so you can kind of see. Okay. So because it had the smart connector, you have these function keys that work. Your home button. You have your brightness button for your screen. You have your search button, your spotlight search. You have, this will bring up your keyboard and you can bring up all your like different symbols and your emojis. Okay, then you have your, this is your backlit brightness. Obviously I would keep it on the back. Then you have your video. So if you're like in a YouTube video, you can, um, Go to the next video you can play. I had it pause. I can pause the video. I can go into the next video into the lineup. Let's see. That behave in ways okay, that I can go see. into the next lineup video, next video. I can go back to the video I had before. Now we're back to let's see, we'll go back to the see back to the lion videos. Um I can change the volume, mute it volume up and I can watch the screen and then I can go back to the search button. So there you go. That's an overview. It works great. I mean, um, the keys, I like typing on it. It's a comfortable typing experience and you kind of have like the best of old world. It's kind of like having a laptop and a tablet because you got your touch screen so I can use my, I find myself doing both. Like I'll type with it and I will also then use the touch screen and then I will type. So again, you have your Apple Pencil case, and I mean, that's pretty much it. I'd have to say, though, one of the downfalls is it is pretty heavy. Um, if you're carrying this around with you, I mean, as a 12.9 inch iPad is going to be heavy too, and now I take this to work with me because this is kind of like instead of having a laptop, I take the, I mean, this is everything I need it to do pretty much, especially now that I have the keyboard and I can type into it. Um, I take it, but carrying this around in my bag all day, I will say that it's heavy. Um, the shape of it is a little kind of weird because it's kind of bumpy. I don't feel as if my iPad is as protected as I did when I had it in like the Target case or my Target's case, which didn't have the keyboard. Um, I don't know, something about it, it just seems a little weird, but 
basically, I mean, it's definitely a good case. I think it's better than the Create just because you don't have to worry about um, it damaging your screen and the fact that, okay, so if I'm using this, this pops off really easy. So it's really easy if I want to just put this on my lap or I just want to set this on the table. I don't want to use the keyboard. It pops off so easy that I can just put the keyboard aside. And then if I want it, I just put it back on. That's one of the benefits of having this is that, you know, you can still very easily take it apart. In the other cases, you cannot do that. You can't just take it apart. However, if you don't have it, now your screen's exposed. So I don't really feel comfortable leaving this or I would never take this out of the house kind of with the screen exposed. I like having a cover on it. So, you know, you definitely want to carry it in my bag. I want to put this on top of it. All right. Well, thank you for watching. This is my review of the Slim Combo by Logitech. Um, some combo by Logitech for the iPad Pro 12.9. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.